my name is El Gore and this is episode 16 of This Past Life. dogs and all good things. So uh, after a very long hiatus, which I think is um, May, June, July, August, September, it's October, six months, which is a lot longer than I thought it was, um, I have returned uh, to share with you my adventure living a more polite life. First thing I wanted to talk about was what's been happening over the past six months. In the past six months, um, after I finished the project, Living Technologically in the 1950s, which is kind of how this began, I um, ended at the end of April and found that a lot of the things that I had learned in the time that I had been doing this past life carried over and um, continued to make my life better, make me happier. And several of those things had very had a little bit to do with the technology in, you know, not answering my cell phone unless it was plugged into the wall, um, not doing emails, uh, I wasn't doing Facebook, I wasn't doing internet, and uh, also ordering smaller foods. I was dressing, um, as one of my watchers said, to the standards of the 1950s. Um, from top to bottom not leaving the house until I was dressed and um, always dressing no matter what. Um, a lot of those things changed. So once I returned back to the normal, my normal life, um, I found that dressing always made me feel better. And so I continue now to dress every day before I leave the house except, of course, for the gym. Um, somebody needs to come up with a cute line of gym clothes for girls going to the gym, because I'm telling you, we can't make some cute, like, high-waisted, cigarette pant um, workout clothes, because, come on now. Just because you're working out doesn't mean you shouldn't feel cute. Anyway. Tangent. Um, I, I was surprised how by me dressing that way, how people reacted to me, how people were more polite, how people were more kind, how people approached me in a positive way about people held doors, people pulled chairs out. And I don't know if that's because the way I dressed implied um, some sort of respect for those around me. That's what I would like to think it, it, it shows. and. And therefore, they are returning the that nod to respect. So that's something that has continued in the last six months. I write more uh, thank you notes and correspondence by hand. That's something that I have always loved. I love just the feeling of paper, the, like the texture uh, of beautiful stationery. And so that's something that I've continued to do because of once again, the response of that people had um, towards me when I when I did that was just much more fulfilling. I uh, am back to, of course, email and phone and all those things. Those are those are things that I wish had stuck or that could stick realistically. And with my job, just isn't very um, ideal. And uh, the last thing is that. I continue to always order the smallest portions and um, sizes and things when I go out and order things. I have tried to uphold the 1950s portion, which is weird <laughs> and kind of hard to describe, but um, it makes me feel like a lady, kind of. And the other thing is I said that was the last thing, but this is really the last thing subcategory. Um, buying things from people directly, interacting with the purchases that are in my home, 
and a lot of that has to do with um, food, buying food from a farmer's market, buying bread from a bakery, buying um, if you buy meat, buying meat from a from a butcher. And I found that in cooking more and trying to consume less processed foods, I found that I enjoy those interactions. So that brings us to what I would like to do now, which is weekly. I'm going to update the podcast weekly. And every week I'd like to do a challenge that leads me to the life that I want to live. So, week one challenge. Buy something from someone who made it. And that could mean a lot of things. That could mean going to your local farmer's market. That could mean finding somebody uh, in your community that has bees and harvests honey, or going to a craft fair, buying a gift or baked goods. Um, it could also mean Go, if you're in a small town and don't have access to something like that, um, it could mean going just on even Etsy and finding something special, whether that's stationary for you or, or something for your home. Of course, one-on-one -on -one in person is the best, but um, of course not everybody has the same resources that I do here in New York City. So, <clears throat> week one challenge. Buy something from someone who made it. This also kind of ties into the, the 1950s buy um, American-made products. Um, and I think that kind of applies right now with everything that's happening with the economy. I think that supporting small businesses and people that are creating something in this country um, is an exciting thing to do for and a way that you can feel that you are contributing to your community. So I think that that's A+. plus. So, I wish I had something bigger, more fantastic to update you on, but I don't. So for now, I guess this is El Gore for this past life. I will see you another day.